What's up? This is Miles Keeney and I'm here to teach you the step-by-step -step tutorial for my Shape of You choreography. I'm here with my assistants Bianca and Zuleika. A lot of you were asking in the comments on Instagram and YouTube for a tutorial, so we're just going to do this. We're going to go step-by-step -step so you can follow along really closely and get all the details. And then when you're learning it, it'll be flipped in mirror mode so you can learn it as if you were in the studio with us dancing. Okay, so we're going to start by bringing our right hand to our mouth in sort of a fanned out position. Right hand is going to go out, out. This is eight and. Eight and, you're going to step out with your right foot, arms go up into the right diagonal as the foot comes out. And one, you're going to pull it in, the arms in, and the right foot's going to turn out on two, on one. And one, and two. And you can kind of have these arms be a little loose or more structured however you want. They're a little bit free, but the idea is that it goes out with the foot as the foot is turned in and then turns out as it falls. And one, and two. You're going to step forward onto the right foot, putting all the weight on. The fingers are going to point, point twice on three and. Then you're going to take the weight onto your left foot on four and tap both hands off the center of your chest, four. And you want to think like middle finger to chest on that so it doesn't look like a big slap. You just want to tap and the weight goes onto your left as you tap. So we just did eight and one and two and three and four. From here, you're gonna take the weight back onto the right foot, pushing forward with the right arm and it's gonna be in a fist. Five, you're gonna step the left foot forward on six, stacking the right hand over the left hand. Six and, pulling it up to the middle of your elbow, seven and. So that, what you just did is you just twisted out your left foot, folded the arm up into a fist, and then pulled it in and tucked it under your right elbow. So that whole sequence looks like three and four. Step on the right foot, five and six and. Twist the left foot out, pull the arm up, seven and. Just to get you out of this eight count, we're going to step onto the right foot, pulling the arms back and down across the shoulders in fists. So you just did seven and, you're gonna step right, left, right as the arms come down. That's 80 and. So we just did eight and one and two and a tap, tap, whoop. Five and six and seven and 80 and, exactly. From here, when from the 80 and, you're gonna pull the arms down. You're gonna lean your head to the right and you wanna think that you're kind of hitting a wall and there's sort of a snake reverb on the back end of it. So you don't wanna go into it with a snake. You wanna just hit sort of a wall with your head on one, one, and as it snakes back on the and. So this is one on two and, this left hand is gonna to come to a blade and it's gonna flick twice, flick, flick. As you do that, your chest is gonna pop in and out, in, in. Yeah, so you just did 80 and one, two and. From here, this left arm is, hand is gonna flip up. You're gonna make a little walking man with your uh, index and middle finger and you're gonna step onto your right foot as that hand flips up. And you're gonna lead with the, with the butt kind of towards the right corner. This is two and, step three. You're gonna step the left foot behind and, and each time you step these little walking man fingers switch. Three and four. So again, that looks like two and three and four. Exactly. So, and the momentum is down, down, up. So you want to kind of swing into that walk. So we just did 80 and one. Flick, flick, three and four. Four. He says, follow my lead on that part. So you're kind of instructing someone to follow like a little guy walking on your hand. So from the top through that, you just did eight and one, two and a three, four, five, six and seven and 80 and one, two and three and four. From here, the hands are going to push out on five, stacking the left under your chin and the right on top of your head, both palms pointing the same direction. So that's the pathway of the hands. You just did three and four, 
five, and six. As you do that, you're going to take the weight onto the right foot, pushing the left out, flexed. Five, and a. Uh. Yeah? So this is push left, right. Five and a, uh, you're just going to twist your head to the right. Six and. So you just walked three and four. Five and uh, six and. Stepping out with the left foot, the hands are going to come to right around the chest area and the palms are going to face the audience. You're going to shake seven and. Everything comes in, your chest concaves in, very like an internal moment. Look down, eight, and then pop up on releve, unfolding the hands over your mouth, and. And you want to just have the palms open to the audience and in front of your face with the fingers spread. Great. So we, let's go from the top through there. Seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight and a one, two and three and four, five and a six and seven and eight and. Good. Yeah. And you're going to drop right out of this releve, so you're just, it's just more of a pop, not like a reach. So you're here, seven and eight pop up and. You're going to drop all, all the weight onto the, your uh, right foot. Arms are just going to release to the side. And they're kind of, same, same idea with the beginning arms. There's a general path for them, but how you choose to kind of express that, whether you want to fist or you want to, you know what I mean? It can be sort of up to you how you want to finesse that. But the step is on the one you're dropping, arms go one, two, and you're going to continue the momentum to the right, scuffing the left foot three, putting it down four to the back corner, keep turning three and four, and, and. <laughs> and you're going to open the hands above your mouth again. So we just did one, two, and three, and four. And when you pop up this time, you're coming back up to the same releve that you did in the beginning, but the arms are flipped and the fingers are connected and you're hiding the thumbs. So we're all here. So we went from this to this. So we're here. And drop one, two, scuff, three, and four. You're going to drop on the and out of this releve. Arms come down by your sides. And. And you want to think a little bit up with your chest and chin as well. So it's not like a drop right here. You're here. Four, and. You're going to go right hip five. And. Left hip on and. Then you're going to go up twice with the right a six and, and the hands come to the head. And they can kind of grow up as you're doing this. So this is and, five, and, six, and. From here, you're going to step the weight onto the left foot, arms unfold over the head, seven, step the right foot, and. You're going to step with the left foot at the same time. You're going to step the chest out, eight, e, and. So the body is going out, in, out. And that's 80 and. So that sequence is kind of weird to break down super slow because it's kind of a groove. But you're here, this is eight and. You're dropping one, two, and three, and four, and right, left, six, and seven, and eight, and uh. Exactly. You want to think out, in, out with that. And it's pretty quick, so you don't need to do too much with it. It's just a little, little out and out. So again, from, there, from, the, uh, from the eight and, you're dropping one, two, and three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and up. From here, you're going to turn over your left shoulder. Arms are both in fists. The right is, comes out straight in front of you. The left hooks to your um, right shoulder, and you're going to turn over your left shoulder in a coupe drag position on one. Yeah, and you want to wind up facing um, this corner. So we just did eight and a one. Jumping out with the left foot behind, both feet jump out, arms open, two, close it, and. Yeah, so you want to think like you're in one of those machines in the gym. Boom, ha. So that's two and. Two and, you're going to jump both feet together, arms come around your head, 
three. You're gonna step all the weight onto your left foot, signal to the right wall, four. And you're just saying like, come here with your index finger to the right wall. So we just did eight and a one, two and three and four. You're gonna continue this right foot coming through step five, banging both hands off the center of your chest and six and seven. So the pathway of the arms are this, open, out with open palms, and then pulling it to your chin. And you want to think like you're right over a plate of something. So your, your chin is right underneath that. So that whole section from the eight and uh is very bouncy. So you want to turn one, this is a jump, two and three and four, five and six and seven. Great. You want to try that with music? Yes. Five, six, seven. Checkpoint A of B. So going on from here, and eight, and. You're gonna step out with the right foot, arms gonna carve in towards the chest. One and a, yeah? And you just wanna take that the same way we just did this in the beginning. We're just gonna, we're, our feet are together and a little bit of like a demi plie for this. Then we're gonna step out right, left, right. And the arms just carve through. One and a, you're gonna knock the left shoulder up twice. Two and. Yeah, and that's super sharp because it's on these, the drum beats in the song. And, eight, and, one, and, a two, and. From here, my left knee is slightly turned in on that shoulder shoulder. We're gonna step out with the left foot, which is gonna turn that left knee out on three. Two, and, you're gonna go three, four, five, and. So you want it, this is another moment, like this whole dance has a lot of freedom in it with how you wanna, articulate your arms, but the general pathway is up to about stomach level, and that you can outline whatever shape you want. He says, I'm in love with the shape of you. Yeah, and you wanna just grab like you're ready to drive a car, but you're not gonna drive a car. So you're here from eight and, and eight, and one and a two, and three, four, five, and. You're gonna, from here, knock your left knee in, pushing your torso to the right, six and. And you wanna think like, <laughs> like something just hit you. Six and, you're gonna take the weight onto the left, pushing your right arm out, seven and, eight and uh. <laughs> you're like holding it in. Let's go from here one more time. And, eight and, one and a two, and three, four, five and six, and seven, and eight, and uh, one. And you're gonna pull both arms sort of at your head level, like you're on like a monkey bar um, on one. And you wanna think push and push, push and push, whoop. Yeah, so it's light and light, light and ha, exactly. And you wanna, you have some time to linger here. You're holding the two of the one, so you're here one, you're gonna hold two, so you wanna have some sort of presence on the one. You can shake, you can like whoop and just make eye contact, whatever you'd like to do, but it needs to be a very powerful moment. So, and eight, and one, and a two, and three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and a one. Hold two, exactly. From here, you're gonna knock both knees in, punching down with the right arm, three. You're gonna pull, the right arm up, stepping all the way down to the left foot, scooping with the left arm. Four. Yeah, this right foot is flexed. Then you're gonna jump onto the right foot, scooping with the right arm. Five. And you're gonna come up to like a parallel front attitude. But you're gonna be, you wanna really lose your torso on that. So, we just did, um, let's go from here one more time. And eight, and one, and two. I'm in love with the shape of you, ta, push and pull like a magnitude, hold two, go.
go three, four, five. Exactly. And you want to think very kind of light and airy on that. Hoom, ha, hoom. And yeah, you can even kind of like basketball that out. Five. You're going to push this left leg out, left foot out, and the leg's going to straighten. Six. The right hand is flexed to match it. Pull it up and drop it down. Seven. Then the hands are going to come above the head and you're going to twist the left hip up to the front twice. Eight and. And you're going to pop, come up on that left ball, the ball of the left foot. So this is three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, and. From here, you're going to release both arms opening above your head, taking the weight onto the left foot. One, look to the right. Two, step on the left. Three, on four, you're going to grab the hands above your head again, and you're going to lean your body towards the right. Four, yes. You're going to do two hair whips over your left shoulder, keeping the left leg straight. And five. And you want to have this line. So this right leg is bent and your hands are on your knees and the left um, leg is straight. So we just did three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five. You have six to kind of fall out of this. And five, six. You're going to drag the right foot around in coupe, um, turned out, kind of ronde jamming around, and this left arm is going to carve around the head on seven. So you're going to go seven, step eight, and you're going to point one out to the audience. Yes. So this is four and five, hold six, seven, right, left, point. Yeah, one, you're going to switch the arms. As you switch them, the right arm's going to come up and in a fist. Uh, then you're going to switch back to a point, but with the right arm, two. Yeah, so you're going to go point, switch, switch, point. One and a two. Exactly. And five, hold six, seven, and right, left, point, da, da, da. One and a two. This three and four, you're going to step left, right, left. And that's a, a free moment that you can do whatever you want with. But you do need to step left, right, left on three and four. So you're here. One and a two. Step left, right, left. Exactly. And you can dip down on that. You can add hair, whatever you'd like to do. One and a two. Step three and four. You're going to lean your, your torso back, pushing the hands in front of your face. And five, six, and breaking the elbows in twice to parallel. Seven, dropping the arms down to your shoulders and pushing up to the left diagonal twice. Eight, and, and you want to have your chin up a little bit. So that goes three, and four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and. And you want to have a little bit of a chin on that. So. That whole sequence from the and eight and, and then we're just going to do the, fi the final moment of this. The, the last section is mostly grooves, and then we'll put it all together. So this is and eight and one and two and three, four, five and six and seven and eight and a one. Hold two, three, four, five, six and seven, eight and one, two. Three, grab it. Four and five, six, seven, right, left, point, and a switch. Left, right, left, in, out, click, click, boom, da, da. Exactly. Eight and. From here, you're going to step the weight on. The weight is mostly on the left foot at this point. You're going to step the weight onto the right. Arms are just going to come down to a plate by your hip bone. On the one, you're going to step rocket one and two and three and four and so on the last one you're going to pick that left foot up and it's going to be flexed five six five, and five six and seven eight and one and two and three and four and yes you're here 
on the and, you're going to step onto the left foot, switch it. Five and six and seven and eight and. So it's just a little bit of a groove. Hey, 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 and just make sure that foot is turned out and flexed every time it leaves the ground. So you're here. One and a two and a three and a four and 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 exactly five and six and seven and no <laughs> three <laughs> three and a four and five and six and seven and eight and yes from here your left foot's up again you're gonna step onto the left foot dragging the right arm up and uh, up and a down, down. So you want to think very kind of structured with and, and weighted with the arms, but there's still a little bit of like a groove that's happening with your body chugging forward. So this is um, and one, two, down, down. You're going to step out with the left foot. Last step, five, six. So the knees are going out, in, out to step onto the right knee, seven and. Yeah, so you're gonna cut the last one a little bit short. One, ha, 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 ha. You're gonna step out with the right foot, eight, pull it, e, and, ah, uh, and you're gonna release the hands. Tick, 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 hoom. Tick, 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 hoom. So, let's do that whole ending groove section. And five, six, and seven, eight, and one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and five, and seven, and eight, and one, two, down, down, whom, ha, whom, ha, ta, ta, ta. Yes, exactly. So, <laughs> I don't think, I think this hand is optional at the end, but you're definitely here. Tick, tick, tick. And then you can release that if you want. Um, great. So let's talk it through with counts all the way from the top, and then we'll do it with music, and then you'll have learned the whole combo. So from the top, you're going to go five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and uh, one, two, and three, and four. Five and a six and seven and eight and drop, drop and three, four, drop right, left, hip, hip, left, right, eight and a one, two and three, four, five and six and seven and eight and one and a two and three, four, five and six and seven and eight and a one hold two three four five six and seven eight and release one two three four whip whip hold six seven and right left point and a switch left right left and five six and seven eight and one and a two and a three and a four and five and six and seven and eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and up. Yes, so just make sure on that ending you're here, the right foot's out, in, step out with the right, punching the right arm down, then pull both arms parallel, and then look up with your focus. All right, let's try the whole thing with music. <laughs>
Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this. I hope you feel like you have a good handle on the choreography. If you record yourself doing it and post it anywhere, just make sure to tag me. My social media handle is at Miles Keeney, M-I-L-E-S-K-E-E-N-E-Y on all social media platforms, um, just to credit me for the choreography. And I'd love to see you give, it, give this a shot so I can double tap on Instagram and share it on YouTube. Um, and I teach weekly in Manhattan in New York City, so if you're ever in the area, please come through to class. I'd love to have you. And if you'd like me to come to your studio, all of that information is in um, my Instagram bio, so you can find that there. Thank you.